I'm sure that all of you have heard about climate change and climate change associated and man-made land disturbances, such as wildfire, which is a real manifestation of climate change in Canada, logging and sewage pollution. But have you ever wondered if these disturbances can change the quality of our drinking water, and if so, how? Finding the answer to this question is the main purpose of my PhD research. And one important implication of this work is to provide guidance to drinking water treatment plants so that they can anticipate the changes in source water quality and the consequent challenges they might face. We want to make sure that the treatment plants are proactively optimized and can respond to the challenges. In Canada and United States, forested watersheds are critical sources of high quality drinking water. They provide water to over two thirds of the population in Canada and United States. But unfortunately, this high quality water is very vulnerable to impacts of climate change and land disturbances. Regardless of the type of the disturbance, all of them have the potential to negatively impact the quality of water. What I am studying is the relative impacts of each of these disturbances on the quality and the chemistry of water. In particular, the organic carbon compounds in water. The organic carbon content of water can increase as a result of the disturbances. And if this level increases above a certain level, then it can adversely impact the color of water, the taste of water, and the odor of water. But more importantly, high levels of carbon can form some byproducts of potential health hazard that we must be aware of and sufficiently remove. Why is it important to identify the changes in water quality? First, we want to make sure that our drinking water treatment plants are adequately equipped to provide us with safe drinking water despite any changes in source water. Second, this knowledge will enable policymakers to better balance trade-offs between land use activities and source water protection considering the health and environmental issues. And in closing, I'm sure that you all can see the importance of research in protecting the health of ourselves, our next generation, and our environment. Thank you very much.